Hello book besties. So for today's video, we are gonna be doing my February wrap up. I am so proud of myself. I read a total of eight books in February, which for me is like unheard of. It might not seem a lot compared to these other booktubers, but like I'm a full-time college student and I'm lucky if I read one book a month because I have zero free time. I'm an academic weapon. So all my free time goes to studying or like homework. So yeah, not to flex or anything, but your girl read eight books and it's a short month. It was a short month because it was February. So yeah, let's get into this video. So the first book I read in February was Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I honestly did not expect to like this book as much as I did. It's about Chloe Brown who has a chronic illness, fibromyalgia, and she has a near-death experience and that really like shocks her back to life. So she decides like, despite my chronic illness, like I'm gonna live life to the fullest because you never know like when it's your time to go, you never know. So she decides to move out of her family's like home and she moves into this new apartment and her superintendent is pretty cute. Um, it is reverse Grumpy X Sunshine. People say that it's enemies to lovers, but like I am an avid lover of enemies to lovers and this is not enemies to lovers. I would say it's more like, oh, they kind of dislike each other for like five seconds and then it's friends to lovers, okay? It is, I would class this as friends to lovers because I think their friendship overshadows their enemies to lovers. So yeah, this was a solid 3.5 for me. I really enjoyed reading about a main female character with a chronic illness and the fact that she is a woman of color that was really nice. I loved the representation. I really liked Red as well. Um, they're both British. So the whole time I was reading this, I read everything in a British accent. Um, I think that made my reading experience more enjoyable. So highly recommend doing that if you're gonna read this book. So the second book I read this month was Final Offer by Lauren Asher. This is the third book of the Dreamland Billionaire series. It focuses on Cal, who is the youngest brother out of the Canes, and his task is to go back to his childhood vacation home at Lake Wisteria and sell it. However, it gets a little complicated because his childhood best friend and ex-girlfriend also owns part of the house. So yeah, it is second chance romance, childhood friends to lovers, dual POV. I just loved this book so much. It was my favorite out of the entire series. It was a five star for me, which really shocked me to no end because normally I don't like friends to lovers tropes. Like normally they don't hit, but this hit. Their connection was so deep. I feel like we just get a side of Cal that we've never seen before. And yeah, highly recommend reading the entire Dreamland Billionaire series just so you can get to this book because it's just, it's so good. I guess it is technically a standalone romance series. So you could skip the first two and just head straight to this one. But then all the shared scenes with like Rowan and Zara and, and Declan and Iris like don't hit as hard because that was one of my favorite scenes is when they're all together and you get to see them as a big happy family. Yes. So the third book I read in February was Fugitive Denim. Also, just wanna make a little disclaimer. If I look a little different, it's because it's a lot later in the day and I had to refilm this clip talking about this book because I accidentally deleted it off of my SD card and I didn't know about that until I was editing this video. So yeah, but this was an assigned course reading for my econ class. And if you follow my bookstagram, you already know how I feel about this book. I was literally crying and whining when I had to read it because it was so boring. I, I literally had to put myself on a romance reading ban so I could have the willpower and motivation to read this book. So yeah, I don't know what it is about assigned course readings or like course readings in general, but if you tell me to read something and it's for a grade, I have no motivation to read it. Like I don't want to read it anymore. I don't care if it's the most interesting thing in the whole wide world. I will not, I will not have any desire to read it. I'm sorry. It's no longer fun for me. So yeah, I even looked at, looked up this book on Goodreads to like see other people's reviews on it and they were all negative. They were all bad. <laughs> so I think it had like a really low 
score too as well so i don't know why i was reading this for my class it was so bad if i had to give it a rating it'd be like negative five it was so rambly and boring and i just don't know it was just not interesting at all which really kind of upsets me because the premise is kind of interesting it's about the denim industry and like the working conditions and like um dangers and like sustainable issues that goes on within the industry but it was so boring it was so boring yeah don't recommend this at all so the fourth book i read in february was x's and o's by amy leah this is the second book from a standalone series called the influencers um the first book is called set on you it's about a fitness influencer i did not read her i wanted to read this one first because look at that cover it just screams valentine's day i read this book for my reading for 24 hours video if you want to go check that out and like see my real time reading process but basically tara is a book influencer and she wants to have a second chance romance so she decides to hit up all her exes so she can have a date to the valentine's day dance at her work and trevor who is her roommate and her sister's fiance's best friend um that was a mouthful wow um but basically trevor helps tara with this like task that she has and gives her like dating advice and stuff like that but obviously doesn't work out they catch feelings for each other this is forks proximity friends to lovers their roommates it was super cute i love it when books also have characters that also love to read i feel like i can connect with them like on a different level and it's also very meta when you think about it because tara she talks in like book tropes essentially and she'll be like oh my gosh i love it like when books do this and this and this and this and i'm like girl your book is doing that so yeah this was a 3.5 for me i really enjoyed it i don't really like friends to lovers so i think that's why the reading wasn't higher for me but yeah highly recommend if you want like a cute little rom-com the next book i read was funny should ask by Alyssa sussman i also read this in my 24 hour reading video um it's about channy and gabe channy is a journalist gabe is a movie star and they meet pretty early on in their careers because they have to do an interview because gabe is about to be the next james bond which is a pretty controversial choice i guess because he's not british but they really hit it off during their interview and it is like sparks are flying and then 10 years go by they haven't been in contact and they have to mm, reunite and do the interview again 10 years later i actually liked this book more than i thought this has been on my tbr for a while now i just was really hesitant to read it because i've heard so many mixed reviews people either love it or hate it the main complaint is that it's pretty insta lovey but like honestly the insta love didn't really bother me because look how thin that book is like it's a short book it's barely it's a i think it's like 300 pages so of course there's going to be aspects of insta love because it is past and present timelines so yeah i really enjoyed this book there's a lot of like fun articles in between the chapters which i liked it reminded me of seven husbands of evelyn hugo like how there's um articles in that book or like uh, magazine clippings or whatever but yeah this was a three star for me i honestly almost read it a four star but she got knocked down a whole star because i hated the third act breakup it was so unnecessary it literally lasted five seconds and did nothing so yeah the next book i read was the legacy by l kennedy this is the final book of the off-campus series it's basically just an extended epilogue there's four parts in it each part focuses on a different couple i have been dragging my feet reading this book this book was on my tbr for like two months in a row and i just never got to it because I was worried i didn't want my comfort series to like end on a bad note just because i've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this book like i just didn't know how necessary it was because each book already had an epilogue but i loved this book this was a 4.5 star for me it gave me so many like warm and fuzzy feelings to see all my comfort characters like in one book again it was just so sweet 
I absolutely loved Grace and Logan's part and I really liked Dean and Allie's because Dean and Allie's part takes place at Sabrina and Tucker's wedding so like everyone is together and that just is so good. It was so good. I was literally cracking up with all their like inside jokes and yeah. If you have not read the off campus series like read it now. Read it now. I feel like I say that in every video but yeah read this series. 4.5 star. So good. So the seventh book I read in February was Say You Swear. I loved this book so much. I have a reading vlog of it basically uploaded on my channel if you want to go check it out. But this is a football romance. I went into it completely blind. I did not know a single thing about it besides it was about football. And I loved every minute of it. It was so good. It literally made me cry like five times. I absolutely love Noah. He is the best book boyfriend that anyone could ever ask. He is the blueprint. And this is Friends to Lovers. Normally, again, again, normally I don't like Friends to Lovers, but this just hit. This was like a soulmate connection. Just, I annotated it. Just so good. Highly recommend. It's basically a love triangle between Chase, Ariana, and Noah. But the love triangle, like, didn't bother me because I hate love triangles. But she's barely there because let's be honest, if you're rooting for Chase, you shouldn't be. Like, <laughs> If you're rooting for Chase, like, you probably need some therapy, okay? But, um, it's basically about those three. Chase is Ariana's brother's best friend. They are part of the same friend group. They all grew up together. Ariana has a crush on Chase. That's her first love. Right before they go off to college, they have, like, a moment and, th like, you know, basically their relationship changes. They become romantically involved. However, it doesn't work out. Ariana goes through like a deep depression and just basically isn't the same person until she befriends Noah and their friendship just is so good. It really reminded me of Archer and Brie from Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan because they're just two broken people that help like heal each other's wounds and it's just so good. It's on a different level. Highly recommend that you read this. Say you swear. So the final book I read in February was Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I have a spoiler-free reading vlog on this book if you want to go check it out. It is so good. I honestly don't know why it took me so long to read this book. I was honestly really intimidated by the size of it. I, I don't know. I just feel like it was going to take me forever. However, I literally devoured this book. It was so good. Lucy Score's writing is so effortless and easy to read. It feels like you're not reading anything at all. Like I feel like the words just like jump off the pages for me. This is a small town romance. It's Grumpy X Sunshine, dual POV, um, slight enemies to lovers, but yeah, highly recommend. It's basically about Naomi and Knox. Naomi goes to knock about Virginia because she thinks that her twin sister is in some sort of danger or like financial trouble. However, Naomi's sister is not a good person and so she basically just steals Naomi's car and leaves her in charge of this child that Naomi didn't know her sister had. So now Naomi is in a town where she knows no one and she has to take care of the niece that she didn't know she had. But luckily, she met Knox Morgan and he is the grumpy barber of her dreams and is there to protect her and yeah this was a 4.5 star for me i just love this book so much Knox is just mwah. i am a sucker for grumpy men i just love it so much i can't wait to read the second book it's on my tbr can't wait highly recommend read it so that is it for my February wrap up. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you've read any of the books that I mentioned and like what you thought of them or let me know what your favorite read of February was because I would love to know. I'm always looking out for book recommendations. I don't need to buy new books but that's not gonna stop me. I also have a bookstagram currently dot overbooked if you want to go follow me on there. I post daily. I post reels book reviews, just like bookish content overall. I try to post weekly videos here on my booktube. So if you want to see more of my face, just subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.